Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. Uh, today I'm going to do some stuff with my SPAC. I'm going to show you later. I'm going to change the receiver to a better one. I'm going to change it to a power system that I'm using in my uh, Twin Otter. Uh, the rece uh, receiver is called AR9110. It's a power safe receiver which has the uh, uh, ability to uh, use two LiPo batteries for power so I'm going to tell you more about that later okay I've been flying for about two years now two years and one month uh, I'm not that great of a pilot but I try and throughout these two years I've been experienced uh, a great deal of knowledge when it comes to equipment and of course I will do everything I can to get the best products the best equipment and also the more quality equipment for my uh, planes and helicopters of course the main problem with this is that they are so expensive so I've been searching the internet for a long time because I really want to have this power safe in all my larger planes and in Norway as let's say Spectrum is quite quite expensive and the normal man in the street won't, uh, won't be able to afford too many of these receivers at one time okay so here is my little shout out for this time and it goes to Brentford RC in the UK superb service fast delivery even though they delivered from UK to Norway and I got this baby for half the cost of what it cost in Norway in Norway it cost about 2000 Norwegian and uh, the currency and the shipping made this about thousand Norwegian uh, cheaper in the UK or at BrantfordRC.com. So check out BrantfordRC.com. They have a lot of cheap stuff there, and it's quality. Anyway, enough about that. Why want? Why do I want to change uh, from my AR uh, 8000 receiver? to this 9110 receiver, power safe receiver. Well, the S-Pack is quite, quite expensive. With all the servos and the uh, 35 cubic engine and so on. And the model is quite beautiful and I don't want to crash it due to loss of signals or loss of power or you know what I mean. So I want a power, uh, power box on this one. and. This one can control two two cell lipos at the, about 2000 milliamp I think I'm using 2000 milliamp on the twin outer and this will give me enough power to have many many great flights throughout a whole day with my S back and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and how important it is to put the satellites in different ways and angles in your plane. Okay, so let's go to the S pack. Okay, you guys, here's my pry the S pack 30 cubic with a 35 cubic NGH uh, engine in it. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to replace the receiver. And for all you guys that uses uh, Spectrum or uh, JR of course uh, Horizon.com have made a video on how to install uh, receivers uh, with multiple satellites or multiple receivers attached to it so uh, do go inside their channel subscribe and check them out because there you will have great updates on what's new on the Spectrum front and a lot of a lot of useful tips and hints on how to set up your plane with your, with your uh, spectrum devices okay so uh, there's not much room in this uh, S-Pack I'm going to show you closer of course uh, to add uh, such a large receiver pack as the 9110 so what I need to do I need to build up some ground for it to stand on so 
Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to remove the AR8000 receiver that's in the plane. Nothing wrong with the receiver, but I want to have an even more safe system. So I'm using the 9110 AR9110 power system that uh, are capable to handle two LiPo batteries for power source. So very good. Uh, what I have done, I have removed the 6 volt battery for my servos. I don't need that anymore. Uh, the 4.8 volt battery for the ignition I will keep because you don't want to mess with a power system from your uh, receiver. You could connect the uh, receiver uh, using one of your available power channels uh, to turn on and off the ignition system but that is not wisely done and I have talked to a lot of people about this uh, even uh, pro uh, modelers and pro uh, flyers and they are telling me not ever to do that you can buy better ignition systems for your engine of course and better power supply for it so but I'm keeping my 4.8 volt battery. It gives me about uh, one and a half hour safe flight, so it's more than enough. Uh, I'm also keeping the Miracle, uh, my power switches. This is the dual one with two knobs. Anyway, let's start changing the receiver. Okay, here you can see the power safe AR9110 from Spectrum. Two connectors for LiPo batteries and three different lengths for the satellite receivers. Beautiful. Okay, inside you can see that it's not much place to have the receiver on and I really want to have the batteries as close to here to not uh, to prevent that they are messing up the CG on the plane. So I'm going to add a plate from here to here so that I can put the receiver on top and that won't make the cords too long to the battery so. Okay, here's what I have done. Uh, I'm taking a piece of cardboard, very light and even though a bit thick so I will glue this on here and I will give it a stroke with a pencil with epoxy to prevent it from bending or failing to bear the weight of the receiver though the receiver isn't that heavy so okay now I have installed the receiver and as you can see the cords they are just long enough for me to have the battery on the sides here so I don't mess up the CJ. And uh, it's a bit messy here. I will sort that out right away. We are now going to place the satellite receivers. Okay, you guys, I'm done setting up the new receiver. Okay, I placed the three satellites in three different ways. The first one, I put here and I put it with the antennas going straight out to each side, left and right. In the roof of the back part of the plane, I put one satellite with the antennas this way. The third satellite I put here, but I put it sort of in a linear position with one antenna out there and the other one facing at the bottom of the plane in a linear curve, okay? This means that I have a lot of angles to play with when it comes to signals. So this setup I have seen at horizon.com and I have used this one on my twin otter and it works superb. I haven't had any uh, fails on my uh, twin otter, not a single one. And I regularly uh, check my data logs to see if I had some errors during flight, so quite, quite great. 
Okay, you, re uh, you remember uh, what we talked about uh, a few vid uh, videos ago about setting uh, flaperons on your plane? Well, I have done it on the s back too, so what I've done, I added some uh, down rudder on the elevator and of course on my aileron. So this is how it works, half and full. And of course, I will test it when the plane is high, high up in the air, so nothing can go wrong. Otherwise, everything works like a charm. The only thing I need to do now is to work on the cosmetics. I'm going to um, make the wires look better. I'm going to put some strips on them and put them uh, in a place where they won't be harmed at any cost because we don't want to lose this plane. So, see you later guys. Bye.